Hello everyone, this is Super Comic Girl. I am back with another video, so I do. So in the, on this channel, I do um, comic hauls, I do comic book reviews, reviews of products, reviews of TV shows and of movies, and, you know. So, uh, in this, we're going to do a review of Immortal X-Men issue number six. Now, I am going to start off by saying, I am really, I'm starting to get really disappointed in this whole thing not the story in itself but the but um the fact that they have a um that they're either moving titles um that they're not releasing titles when they are saying they're going to release them and they release them a week later and for a lot of people that are following this uh this um event it ends up becoming really annoying because now they are like, okay, where am I at in this? So Marvel is not really, to that, they haven't thought this event out at all. So, um, so I had to go and I had to go back and they found me a copy of Death to the Mutants issue number two and then they released, um, they release acts uh uh was that um judgment day issue number um, i believe it was four before or four before they released the other ones i you know um instead of after they released the other ones so it's um annoying and it absolutely has the ability to make people go okay look um what is the point of all this? You have all these different titles that are coming out. And what is the point? But I'm going to see the event to the end. Because I really want to see how the whole thing ends. And then after that, I'm totally dropping anything that has X-Men in it. Because it's just, it's too much. So I got it mainly for the cover. I thought it was really good. And this one has... Um, what was it um, Sebastian uh, Shaw being judged and he had a really crappy childhood before he became a mutant uh, his father cared only about making money and rebuilding um, his fortune and the and this caused a divide between him and his son and I'll tell you something, the man just didn't care. He did not care that he was damaging his relationship with his son. He cared more, like I said, he cared more about money than about his family. And that really makes him a really crappy father. So he ends up, uh, Sebastian ends up having little regard for anything other than making money and going up in position and all that type of stuff. If his father had cared equal about money and his family or cared more about his family than making a shit ton of money Sebastian Shaw probably would not have turned out as fucked up as he did so you have him judged and he doesn't take the judgment seriously so he basically just does stuff and um, he does he you know Sebastian Shaw is into the occult and he uses the occult to summon this masked lady which um her i have no idea who she is or what purpose that she um does but uh yeah so uh first of all um i want to say that the illustrations are really great um it really does um add a layer to sebastian to know about a little bit about his childhood um, and about how much his father had hurt him. And, uh, yeah, that's his judgment right there. But he doesn't care. He doesn't, he doesn't take it, um, he doesn't take it seriously. So, overall, I am going to say that, um, I really did enjoy this issue as far as learning a little bit more about Sebastian Shaw and about what drives him to be who he is 
And um, I think that uh, it's good to read about these uh, characters' childhood before they became who they became and everything. And um, he burned a million, uh, Sebastian burned a million dollars at his father's grave. And people might go and say, oh my God, he burned all that money. Why didn't he just give it away? And that's not Sebastian Shaw. He was raised with little regard for anyone. And yeah, but he's like, oh dad, I'll just make another and another and another. And he actually does. He actually makes a lot of millions, but uh, he too has no regard for other people. And uh, you can blame dear old daddy for that. Uh, and we wonder why the 1% is the way they are. Yeah, let's just trace it back to their parents. So anyways, um, so um, I'm, I'm going to give this issue uh, five stars. Um, I'm going to give it five stars despite the fact that Marvel has really thoroughly, I think, confused the shit out of people. Um, but yeah, we don't, we, we don't have really... I don't think we really have that many issues left before it's all over, and I know a lot of people are going to be very happy about that. So, uh, yeah. Uh, so, until next time, um, you know, nerds read on. Bye.